Good morning. I hope you are having a great day. I have been making some paper roses. These turn out so cute and they're so easy and you don't need a punch. You start with um, some paper and your cutter. And you know, I found this paper. This paper I found in the office supply section at the thrift store for 75 cents. There's a hundred sheets here and it's resume paper. And it's perfect. It makes some real nice yellow roses. Look how cute these are. It, the color is like just, just right. Beautiful. So, just with resume paper. So you can make these with plain white paper. Any kind of paper you want. And then I took my sheets and I cut them four by four. And I really need to get one of these things today at Joann's. My little thing is not sharp anymore. And it's tearing my pages, snagging them. So I need to remember to get some extras around. So you need three sheets of four by four. You could do them any size you want. You could do them a little bit bigger. You could do five by five. Um, five by five would make it a little, it'd make it a good size too. Or you could even do little itty bitty ones, but they'd be real hard to work with, but they can be done. So these pages, you start by folding your first triangle and then fold up another triangle and then just do another triangle. So you do this to all of them. Three triangles. One, two, and three. So three folds. So the first one, one, two, and ah, I can get this, and three. Then from a previous one I just have a little template that I want to go by. And here's a folded edge and here's a folded edge. So you hold it with these open edges up. And then I just take and put this on here as a template. And you want to make sure you kind of go down so that you get a nice scallop on your flowers. It just makes it easier when you go to uh, curl your leaves. And then you just cut around here. Cut each one the same way. And then cut off the tip. And the ones in the center, you can just adjust them and you might want to cut off the tip a little bit more so they sink down in there. You just, you'll, you don't have to, but I did on some of them. I tested them and then if I needed to cut off some, I did. So when you get done cutting that, you have one of these. A nice little flower. So you do that to all three of them and then you'll have three flower templates here. And on the first one you're going to cut off one petal. There's the first one. The second one you're going to cut off two petals. There's that one. And then the third one you're going to cut off three petals. So one, two, three. And you're going to use all this. So what you start doing is you take and glue these together. Like this, if you can see that, how I glued that together. You just take and glue one on top of each other. Like a puzzle. So I'll put a little glue. Not a lot. And then you come up with a cone. And you do the other one. Glue it on top. Actually, just hold it and put some glue under there. Be careful, it's hot. Always, always hot. You can use some quick drying glue if you want to. So now you have three cones there. And you have this one. You do the same thing. This one's a little bit tighter to do. 
the one with three petals. You do that one. And just put a little bit of glue on there. There's another cone. These strings, huh? Ah, they just want to hang on to me like a spider web. And then this one, the one with two, I take and I kind of roll it to make my center. And it just needs a little dab of glue to hold it. See that? I hope you could see that. I wonder if you could, um, let me see if you can see better with the light off. Not really, sorry. I was trying to see. Okay, so there's this, this, and this. And then the the single one, you can roll that one. I didn't do it to all of them, but I did it to some of them. Just roll it like a center of a... Whoa, it doesn't go flying on you. It takes a flying lesson. Okay. And then I... See if I want it right there. Yeah, that's good. And then first I take and I kind of, I'm taking a bead roller. You could take anything that's round, a screwdriver, a toothpick, anything, and just barely roll your edges. I just take and go through each one and roll my edges. You could distress your edges too with some pink would be real pretty. You know how you see, what is that, a Martha Washington rose with the pink edging? I'm not sure. If anybody knows, I'd love to have a comment. I can't remember what rose that is. So just curl these edges ever so. so be careful if you see if you didn't have the scallop in here very much. When you go to curl them, you'll, they'll start cutting, they'll start tearing. So then you're just going to start uh, putting these on top of each other. It's real easy. Um, okay, this one goes in here. And I, I test it first and then I put a little, just a dab. That's all it's going to need is a dab. A dab, a dab. And I put it in there. It holds it. And then this one goes next. And let's see, I kind of want that a little bit shorter. I want to cut off just a tad. It's kind of slippery, yeah. And put a little bit on here. And then the next one is this one. Dab. It just needs a dab. A dot is plenty. It doesn't need a lot to hold it. And then the last one. These are so cute. I love them. I love making flowers without punches. Because a lot of my friends don't have punches. And they want to know how to make flowers without punches. Something. So there is another flower. So here are all the flowers I got so far. I just got this and was making it for a little thing to go, a border. I still have some more to make around, around, isn't that cute? So cute. They turned out really cute. They're real easy. I hope you try them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.